This is old news right now, it's been out and about for the last week or so, but YouTube is indeed getting rid of the dislike button. Yeah, yeah. Now, I didn't want to do anything, say anything, until they confirmed they're going ahead with it, because it was an idea that they were trying to implement bit by bit, but now it seems like they're just, they're saying we're doing it. It's a bit dumb, boys. We can't pretend. The whole point of having YouTube, having comments, likes, dislikes, is to have the say of the people. Yeah. You know, it's actually a gauge when you're going to click on a YouTube video. Yeah. Let's say like a how-to video if I'm trying to figure out how to doubt a sock. Mm. I'll look and see what the likes and dislikes is. And if it's got too many dislikes, I'll click off because I'm like, I'm not going to learn anything out of this. If it's the question as to there's this software that I need to download, mm. how should I download it? And the video has a horrible like to dislike ratio. Well, I'm just going to click off the video, yeah, right? I'll find something else. And I think that they're really missing the point here because the reason why they're doing this is because it potentially, allegedly, reduces creator harassment, which is apparently a thing online. I would have never heard of it before. Dislikes don't count as creator you know harassment. And I feel like most people who are on YouTube understand understand that maybe kids don't but this is the thing why are they really doing this i think it's pretty clear they're doing it because those crazy adverts that go viral and have ridiculous dislike ratios and they're like shit we can't have the people giving us money be like all our videos are getting bombed because people are like their shit they have a weird message and i'm not on board with that yeah but if you get rid of the dislike bar then it's like, oh, it's really just a good video. And it has a lot of likes and a lot of views, right? No, guys. YouTube was a platform for the small creator. Now it's becoming the corporate. It's, it's, it's been it's, going that way for the last five, six, seven years. I, so this isn't a new thing. I but I think this it. is just stepping in there and just saying, no, we don't care about the individual creator who is actually trying to build a community, who's trying to build people around them who will come back and watch their content every single day. Thank you to the 30 of you who do do that. Um, doo-doo. Doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> Point being, it's just very far away from what it was five, ten years yeah. ago. And that's fine. Things change. Things evolve. I think competitors are necessary. If you guys know of any proper competitors to YouTube, let us know. Maybe we should upload there. Maybe we should, honestly. Because we have to be the change we want to see, right? And if mm. we're saying there needs to be a competitor, if there is one that's moderately okay, maybe we should just do that. I feel like that's actually something we need to actually look into. In general... I think the whole cyberbullying thing is a bit of a farce. Like, it it's is. important, it's something that needs to be addressed. But guys, if you're saying cyberbullying is the big issue, what you're saying is bullying, real physical bullying isn't happening. Which, I mean, I'll tell you, that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing in most cases. I think it's leading to people being weaker because I think for me, bullying helped me be like, hey, you need to buck up because the world is shit. And if these people are doing these things to you now, imagine what adults are going to do to you in the long run. So guess, for me, yeah. it was, A, take it, build a thicker skin, and don't get broken down by it. But some people do get broken down by it, and I do understand that. Look, I get that. But the dislike button is not cyberbullying. It's not hating someone. No. Comments. If you want to dock words from your comments and you want to filter them. We don't do that. Don't but if you want to do that, do that you do you what you want to do. It's your channel. It's your choice mm -hmm. what you want to put out so other people in the comments can see. Yep. Let's say maybe you've got a young child audience and there are some bad words yep. in there. You want to filter them. I don't see a problem with that. That's your choice as a content creator. But the likes and dislikes nothing to do with that. But what is the point of it? It's to remove people the ability to have an opinion. Yeah. That's what I feel this really is. It's saying, we don't want that negative opinion because you didn't like something, so we're just going to take that ability away from you. And I don't think that's useful for the creators because the dislike button really lets you know if you've done something good or if you've done something bad yeah. or how to gauge why people didn't like the video. And sometimes it's applicable and sometimes it's reasonable. Other times you're like, I don't understand what happened here. I don't know why I had a 15% dislike because that's very abnormal. If you have two, three, four percent, it's yeah. kind of in line with what happens. But if you have one that's really out of bar, you have to say, why? What's the reason? What did I say? What did I do? And why did people have such a gripe with the thing I said? Yeah. That's about learning and understanding your audience. I think when you compare it to other sites and what they do, the rating system, which is what it is, it's positive, negative, it's yes or no, is crucial to anything in life. Yeah. Whether it's a service or a product. If I go onto Amazon and I see that the product I'm looking at buying only has a two star, yeah. two out of five stars, I'm going to be like, I'm not buying this product. But if you get rid of this button, which is literally just a click yes or no, do you like the video or do you not like the video? Not that I hate this person, not that I hate this content, just 
For me, I didn't like the video. Yeah. And that's perfectly fine. People don't like our videos all the time. Yeah. You can have your opinion. That is what the button is there for. That's part of it. But guys. if you get rid of it, it's like getting rid of the rating system on Amazon. It doesn't make any sense. And all it encourages people to do is to waste their time watching a video that they wouldn't have watched because they would have seen it at a terrible like to dislike ratio and they wouldn't have wasted their time. I think it's only going to do one thing this and it's going to reduce watch time yeah. on standard normal videos because people are not going to give the videos the time to bleed. They're not going to give them the time to actually take them in because they're going to say, I don't know if this is good or bad. And if there's something that they don't like, they'll be like, okay, I'm gone. Yeah. As opposed to letting it see where it goes. See, that's the thing. If there's a video in a format that I don't like, mm. I personally don't enjoy videos where there's no face and it's just text and like an automated right. voice or just a regular person speaking mm -hmm. as a narrator. Even I don't in like a tutorial. In tutorials, I don't mind it so much because there's a visual of right. what's being but done. in general, you don't like In it. general, I don't like a plain screen uh -huh. with an image and that's it. I find it very uncomfortable. I like having personalities. It's one of the reasons why we produce the videos that we yeah. do. Great but, videos, by yeah, the way. Yeah, incredible videos. But if there's no like and dislike button, just the fact that it's a video with only a narrator and no person behind it that I can see, I might just actively click off of it. Yeah. Because there's no other way to gauge it. I get it. You're even more disassociated from it because there's not a person or a face to it. I mm. get that. I get that. I'm just saying I don't think it's a good idea. They're doing it. They're putting it through. I do feel the end result is going to be lower watch time on average because people are not going to give the video enough time. Yeah. They're not going to bother to wait because they do not know from their point of view if the video is good or not just from the outlook of seeing the like to dislike bar. But YouTube, no best. <laughs> I say YouTube, no best. You know, the most disliked video on YouTube. YouTube Rewind. Exactly. So... You're looking at... I remember we looked, at, we looked at some of the most disliked videos and they're all like corporations, boy. Yeah. YouTube rewinds, it's corporations yeah. like Coco Melon. Music videos. Music videos, you know, it's it's not individual people. Generally. Apart from maybe Justin Bieber, baby. Like that's but the that's only music one. videos. But yeah. And that's just what it is. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying it's bad, all right? I was going to say I'm not saying it's good. I'm, not, I'm saying it's bad. It's a bad idea, but we can't change it, okay? We just want to tell you it's stupid. And if you want to do it, then do it. But I'm telling you, one day a competitor is going to come. It is going to happen. And I think you might be blindsided by it. I think so. And I feel like that competitor will say, no, Google, you're not going to buy us. Yeah. I think it's the thing of they feel they're too big for the competition, maybe. They feel like, nah, we have the market. We are the market. And when you have that, it's always tough because you get stale. And maybe they're doing these things to be like, we don't want to be stale. We want to change, but you're changing in the wrong way yeah. because you're losing your market and your market is the people. Thank you. Thank you. Come samida. Take a bow. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, that was very that high was pitched. so high pitched. But I kind of liked it. it I was, It's going to be a demon on the mic. Oh. But... <laughs> Sorry, I can't headphone like <laughs> If you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, YouTube themselves gonna come after you. Sujan Wojniak, Wojcicki. She's Polish, I think, to some degree. Eastern, uh, maybe I shouldn't say these things because she might not be, and it might be like harassment or something, you know? All I right. mean, mistaken where her ethnic origin is, mm -hmm. you know? But according to YouTube, like, if you're white, then you're white, so it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, I if guess. If you're white, it's white, it doesn't matter, That's right? That's the game you're playing. Dumb then. shit. Dumb shit. Stupid shit. YouTube gonna come after you. You don't want that. Do they want that? No. You really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been Orange with the comment. I've been on Sensei. She's been on Sensei. You've been Grand. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality shitty content because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the podcast. Podcast means nonsense in Punjabi. We also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little. Do a lot. Do a little. But we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis so see you tomorrow that was way too energetic more of the same slightly different but essentially the very same once more see you then skadoosh